Now let's see how effective my can throwing skills is here. Well, that was fast. Well, okay, if you do get killed, you indeed have the cans respawn for you. Now, does that mean I need to do all of that over again? Maybe. So basically, take every single can that you can. So yeah, it looks like I need to do all of that over again. I was doing so well. Nightmare Fair? Alright. Rosemary's Babysitting. Ba babysitter. I do like the look of Bendy in that one. He looks a lot happy. Well, more mischievous and happier. Showbiz Bendy. Look at Alice. She is ready to cut Boris in half. Look at that. It's like, I'm gonna get me some Boris. The devil's treasure. And Alice being behind Bendy. The Bendy statue. So, how to get this to work? I mean, getting them away from the first room is, is not super difficult, but it's the second room that's going to be a major problem. I only needed to use one can that time. Okay, the lever is still open. I mean, still down. So yeah, I guess all I needed to do was get the other lever. Well, now I know. No! Well, I got the levers. That, that's what counts, right? Yeah, I think going from that corner to that corner without being spotted is really difficult. Because you don't really have a wide angle of fire. And then he just drops the can. Yeah, totally not going to need that later. 
Okay, so now we go into maintenance. Or was it the other one? Another day, another dollar. Okay. I mean, there's maintenance, but I thought there was one other one. This Richardson design is where I came from. Okay, there's Bendy and the bone. Yeah, where is that last door? Pretty sure there's another door around here that is like storage or something yeah here we go attraction storage that's what I was looking for I'm not completely blind I hope anyway and this butcher gang member died by eating expired bacon soup a moment of silence for this butcher gang member Okay, moving on. Work hard, work happy. I... That doesn't work. Not the way you're talking about anyway. Oh, uh, there's ducks? Or something? Well, there is seemingly nothing of importance in here. And that's uh, one messed up face. Looks like a chair, even. Would you want to sit on a chair like that? I don't, not, not me anyway. Well, there is this audio log here. Biggest park ever built. A center fold of attraction. Why isn't there a text box? Each one more grand than the one before it. It makes my eyes come to tears at the thought. But then, oh, Mr. Drew, for all your talk of dreams, you oh, are I'll the be true right back here. Okay, I'm back. I just, uh, had something that I needed to take care of quick. So, back to the audio log. Behind so many nightmares, I built this park. It was to be a masterpiece. My masterpiece! And now you think you can just throw me out? Trample me to the dust and forget me? No! This is my park! My glory! You may think I'm wrong, but I'm still here! This doesn't look good. Ooh! And we don't have a weapon. Well, there's plot convenience for you. And yes, you can actually ride it if you want. But you can also leave whenever you want. So, say hello to the first boss of Bendy and the Ink Machine. Well, besides Bendy, if you want to call Bendy a boss. We never actually kill him yet, so. But this is Ber Bertram Piedmont. Or at something he made, at the very least. So if this isn't him, it's something he made, so... 
All you need to do is just take off the glowing wheels when he stomps the ground. And whenever you take off an arm, he spins around, so you're probably going to take at least one or two hits of damage from this. It's not really all that difficult, though. It's just kind of waiting for him to stomp the ground here. You better be ready to smash that shift button. Sprint over wherever it stops. I think if you were really skilled at at your timing, you could possibly get a whole entire arm off every time he stops, but I don't really find that you have enough time to do that all that often. Like, you really need to be skilled at doing it. can't go under that because as far as, as far as I know there isn't a crouch button yeah so no I'm just I'm just getting trolled get trolled by the by the amusement park attraction Okay, we almost got him. Now let's see if we can actually get over there quick enough. And our axe completely, conveniently breaks as soon as we defeat him. Honestly, I actually do like the design of this boss. I mean, he's not really deadly. As long as you do what I did and s s just waited until he stopped. So he's not that really... Three. One to go. He's not really dangerous, but the idea is pretty cool, though. So we have one more section to go, the maintenance section, I, th I think. Yeah, maintenance. We'll see. We'll see why maintenance never repaired those pipes from the beginning of the game. Well, pretty much throughout the entire game. What am I kidding? Who am I kidding? So we have. All that to go. Uh, where is the maintenance? There we go. Choo choo! Yeah, this is train trouble, alright. Ride the Buddy Boris Railway. And there is a little miracle station. Except. This time, the little miracle station will actually be a little bit more useful. Because guess who's back? Yep, that's right. The projectionist is back. With a vengeance. So what you have to do here is that there is a lever over on this side that lowers something 
or raises something in order for you to go up those stairs. But I'm kind of waiting for the projectionist to kind of get out of the way first. If I can even do that. Hopefully I can. The since he clearly moves faster than me. See, it's his lift control. We're gonna go for that. And yes, he will chase after you as soon as you pull that lever, so be ready to run. And this time, the stairs won't save you. Because yes, he is willing to go out of the inky depths in order to chase you now. Where did he go? The darkness uh, definitely captured him now. So yes, in order to get a little souvenir achievement, you just go in here, press the camera, take a picture of yourself. Too bad you don't actually get a face reveal of Henry, that would be interesting. Go to Lake of Fire and a hell in a Lake of Fire in a handbasket. And yes, I actually do say Lake of Fire in on purpose. If you were wondering. See, Lake of Fire a firefighter. Honestly, I should do that for all my games, just to be unique. Well, then again, this is probably like one of the few ones that actually has that word commonly used. I believe there's something special in arms. With true inner strength, you can conquer even your biggest challenges. You just have to believe in yourself, and remain honest, motivated, and above all, who you really are. Okay, let's stop right there. I can only do so many takes in this trash a day. And tell the guy you're writing, I want more use of the word dreaming in every message. Keep railing on that, get dreaming, dreaming, dreaming. People just eat up that kind of slop. Hmm? What? Still on? Well, turn it off, damn it! Honestly, for some reason, Joey Drew's voice, he kind of reminds me of Cave Johnson from Portal. I mean, maybe it's just me, but he kind of sounds similar to Cave Johnson. Okay, so let's get out of here. Oh, our friend is back! To the outhouse! Oh, he's actually, uh... Okay, never mind. Bendy did not like the projectionist. And by the looks of it, other monsters can now see that we're in the outhouse. He even it if you were wondering this door actually closes for that scene forcing you to go in the miracle station because that's kind of a scripted event and it looks like Bendy just breaks it open for you or someone does so yeah Bendy did not like the projectionist a moment of silence for the projectionist Okay, moving on. 
Look at that though, that's pretty thick ink right there. Choo choo! Yeah, pretty much like I said, this chapter has been is pretty linear for the most part. New objective, rescue Boris, don't you mean old objective? Or that has been our objective all along? What they could have done to make this chapter a little less linear, if that really mattered, is that, like, making it so that you can go through any door and do them out of order if you wanted. But honestly, since I don't like getting lost, I am actually fine with it being in order. But I mean, if they really wanted it to be not as linear, they could have just made it so that you could open any door at any time. And that laugh does not fill me with confidence. Turn back! Okay, I'll turn back. What do you mean I can't turn back? Okay, fine, I'll finish the story. Rescue Boris. Boris who left the elevator, so I, so I got killed by Bendy. Oh, there's even a speaker there. That's must be where the laughter's coming from. The spookiest ghosts in the amusement park it's a history. Funny thing, how so much can fall apart so fast. We really had control of the studio. Either you were in someone's pocket, or you were putting someone into yours. I just wanted what was promised to me. I just wanted to be beautiful. Surely you can understand that. Henry. Why are you here? We're all dying to find out. Do you just enjoy the terror of the drop into hell? Because if that's the case, hang on tight. I've got a surprise. And there's a Bendy statue here, so... Probably should prepare for at least some enemies showing up. There's even some power cells over there or something. Well, looks like we're going into the darkness again. <gasps> Boris! What has she done to you? Ow. Meet the new and improved Boris. I took what I wanted, and in return, I gave him so much more. And this time. Boris! I I know I was gonna leave you to die, but you don't have to do this. Pipe, that's what I need. I don't need no teep teacup. Oh, 
Boris did not like that. Ouchie, ouch. Yes, Boris hurts a lot. To say the least. But at least the arena is cleared, so I don't have to keep avoiding all of the boxes. Ouch. Ouchie, ouch. Bacon soup, save me. Oh dear. Grab the pipe and run! Yeah, let's just say there was a reason why he broke that open. Goodbye, Boris. No! 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 Why can't you ever just die? A moment of silence for Boris. But I wanted to kill Alice Angel. So yes, that was the end of chapter 4, which is the last, the latest chapter that they have made, and they're going to make chapter 5 near the end of October, October 26th, October 26th, I do believe, of this year, so, oh, we get to see the, uh, the voices, so Jacksepticeye is Sean Flynn, I'm not really sure who everyone else is, though, for the most part. And it shows all the fan art that was put into the game. Special thanks to the amazing Bendy community. Bendy will return! Well, it looks like someone might do something with uh, Alice Angel's corpse right there. 
So at the end of that, they showed a beefy Boris and another Alice Angel. So I think I actually missed the audio log, but there was one in Chapter 3 that mentioned that Alice, uh, I mean, Susie Campbell was no longer the voice actress for Alice Angel near the end there. And it is theorized that this new Alice Angel is uh, the new one that was called a Allison Pendle, I think. So yeah, that was the first four chapters of Bendy and the Ink Machine. And yes, I do, I will do the last one when it comes out. Um, but as a whole, I would definitely say that Bendy and the Ink Machine is a game that is definitely better when experienced for yourself because when you just watch a let's play of this or well pretty probably any horror game really you just don't really get the same sense of atmosphere and unsettling pretty much just the unsettling atmosphere that you would get from just playing the game especially in chapter 3 when when you're doing all of these tasks for Alice Angel and just the no knowledge that Bendy can show up at any time whenever you were doing these tasks it really actually had me on edge uh, unfortunately in chapter 4 they kind of took the focus away from Bendy I mean yeah Bendy did show up a few times but they kind of focused more on Alice Angel's part. And I really don't know what, how I feel about that. I think they probably should have had Bendy show up at least a few more times. But then again, there wasn't really a huge amount of opportunity for him to show up on how they had the layout for the whole chapter. So I kind of understand, but I kind of wish that they would have put at least a little more a little bit more emphasis on Bendy than they did because in chapter four it just kind of felt like Bendy was there but he didn't really do anything except for well he did kill the projectionist for good so I mean there's that but besides that, he didn't really do anything. He just was kind of like there. Hi, Henry. I'm still here. So, but yeah, definitely as a whole, uh, definitely Benny and the Ink Machine is a game that is much better when experienced for yourself rather than watching a Let's Play of it, which is really ironic that I'm saying that because I, <laughs> of this Let's Play, but yeah so in until chapter five comes out um we'll uh i'll when, when i record it i'll i'll see you then and thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed my my series of bending in the ink machine so far and have a wonderful day